Hey, it's Red J, and today I'm going to be going over how I personally make millions of gil through crafting. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, again, it's going to differ on your server, but this is kind of the knowledge I've gained over my time playing this game. So, what I like to focus on specifically are rings, and that is why I am currently set to a goldsmith. Now, why rings? Well, one, they sell often enough accessories. I, I think pretty much any sort of gear sells often enough. The gear, but rings are special in that you're going to need two of them. So that means most likely double the sales. Plus, uh, they are the cheapest accessories to make, requiring less ingredients than some of the other um, pieces of armor out there that you can buy. And then I think they sell fairly fast. So uh, with a good, pretty good markup sometimes. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ones I like to craft here. So first off is White Oak Ring here. Yeah, and I'm doing this pretty much live right now. I didn't take a look at this beforehand, but this is way, way, way overpriced. This should not be going for 100 k Normally, I would think this would be around 20k on an average server. Let's take a look at the history. Yeah, it's crazy. It's been actually selling for 100k. And it has, you can see in its date history that it does sell consistently, right? Nearly once every day and in the past multiple times a day. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm just gonna tell you that this price is broken and I'll show you why right now. So white oak ring goes for 100K crafting method. <laughs> Two items, let's take a look at the first price. White oak lumber, 200. Varnish, I, I have an idea of what this is gonna go for, but let's see. Yeah, around a thousand. So I can make a hundred thousand in one second, <laughs> in a few seconds. That's just ridiculous. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other rings, though. And uh, before I I uh, start crafting some of those on my own. Oh, also one thing I, I want to note is that you don't need to be max level crafter in order to really uh, get the most out of this. But having the skill trained eye at that you get at level 80 definitely speeds up the process because, as you can see, it increases the quality by 100% just saving time, um, at least for those lower level rings I'll be talking about here. All right. And the next one here is the Larch Ring. This is another leveling item uh, used for crafters. And this right now I don't think is necessarily the, the best item I would want to create. But as you can see, it definitely sells quickly based on its purchase history. And this is something you're always going to want to do if you're looking to sell an item consistently on the market board when you craft, just to see, you know, if this item is going to stagnate inside your retainer or not. But again, a lot of these rings only cost, I think, maximum of like 2K to make. And you're going to sell it for, I'm, I'm personally looking for 20K plus, right? So I'm getting, you know, 20,000 per ring and I expect to sell two rings and then plus what I like to do is diversify my rings uh, so I don't you know get get trapped with a ton of the same kind uh, across my two retainers so essentially I'm selling 40 rings at the same time when I'm uh, trying to get some money here all right next basically we're, we're targeting rings that people are using for leveling Let's see. Next is Mythal Ring of Crafting. This is an average price, 30k. And this is one of the common rings that people use to level up their crafters. Uh, especially if they're doing power level link strats. Because I know there's a... Well, what I like is that there's a few guys that recommend this specific item. And so people are just going to buy it off the market board because they saw it on a guide. And you can take a look at the price history. And again, multiple times a day. And somehow it dipped low here, but uh, that seems to be a mistake. Yeah, average 40, 30k. Perfect. All right. Oh, and I'll just show an example of how cheap this stuff is to craft here. Because I already caught Snippet before, but Mithril Ring 800, 900. Siltstone, Whetstone. 200. It costs around a thousand to make, and you're selling it for thirty thousand. Again, you're you're just printing money if you do this. 
All right. All right, so let's go to all because we're going to go through some of the combat rings now. Also, I think there's a there's a small trap for people who craft at kind of those higher end items here, like the classical rings that are the latest and greatest. Uh, you're going to see that these aren't going for very much. 18k. That's nothing, and there's high competition for it. I think any sort of green rings are a trap, um, especially at the high end crafts, because there there's just too much competition there, and then the price drives down. And then these older rings aren't really selling well because they're pretty much outclassed um, for those who are looking for the best, uh, best I guess gear possible. And a lot of people just only use it for at this point for uh, lamb. So, trip light is okay, but it's not, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't sell as amazing. Yeah, you can see that the, the date here is a little scattered, so I'm going to go ahead and skip over that, even though I think the price is good. Alright. Let's keep going. Alright, next up is Trifane. So, the Trifane Ring of Aiming, or any of the other Trifane rings here, sell often enough. Now, <clears throat> personally, I'm, I'm going to give a, a kind of a tip here. Um, if you're leveling, you don't need to purchase these. Uh, it, it, I think it's much better to go ahead and spend your poetics on any of the gear um, that can be sold from vendors that give pretty much the best item level you can. But uh, that, that's just my personal opinion. So again, we're going to take advantage of the, the people who do buy this stuff here. And you can see for Trifane, in particular, does very well. And with low competition on my server right now for these, I would definitely be looking to craft it. Alright, so let's just take a look at how much profit we would theoretically make over this. Again, low, low... Low material requirement. Yeah, 400. And then... Copper Nickel Nugget. It's cheap. It's nothing. It is actually nothing. And you're going to make a ton of money. Alright. On to the next rank. Okay, next one up is the gate rings. So, these are pretty much the same, in the same realm as the Trifane um, leveling rings. Uh, again, very cheap to make. Purchased fairly often. Maybe not this one as much. I wouldn't be happy with the, the 220s, this purchase history. Let's see. But I have had... Yeah, this one does much better, the Ring of Healing, or Ring of Casting here. Um, I've had good success with the gate as well too, so... I would be crafting some of those. And then I believe there's just one last one I would be looking at crafting which is the brass ring of crafting gear, which is kind of the, the lowest end of crafting rings uh, that you can make. The, the, this is this is exactly what I would be looking for. Um, again, this is very cheap to craft, so I would definitely be looking at, at least, given the information I see now, making roughly around five rings of each type here. That way, so that I can diversify my inventory so I don't get stockpiled on one ring and I can keep moving and keep selling as much as possible here. All right, so you can see basically why I love this market here for the rings. Um, basically what I do on a normal day would be clearing out my retainer space. So I have 40 empty slots. I'm gonna create five rings of each different, uh, or each type of ring. So essentially I have eight different types of rings, five each, and then I should be making quite a bit of money by the end of the day. Um, in addition, of course, I'm always getting my treasure map so I can sell that on top of it. Again, if you already have Goldsmith leveled up, this is one of the quickest, quickest ways to make money in this game. Seriously, it takes nothing. Okay, so yeah, that, I just want to quickly go over this, share some knowledge that I have, and if people get upset that I'm crashing a market, then only like, what? 10 people realistically are going to view and use. Forget them. Take advantage of this. Alright, thanks for watching.